2020. Wonderful, wonderful event happening this weekend. Chef John Bulletin is here from the Alamo Draft House. Wine and swine. Yes. <laughs> nice pairing together. Tell us what wine and it swine is. is. Well, uh, what the wine and swine event there uh, is, to, is for the Hill Country Food and Wine Festival. We are uh, the part of the event that I'm in is uh, tomorrow afternoon, myself and seven other chefs are each cooking a pig and presenting it with. Uh, with some of our own side dishes and some little appetizers and things like that. Excellent. Where'd the idea come from for that? You know, I'm not sure. I just got, <laughs> I got invited, and uh, when they say cook a big animal, I'm I'm the first one to show up. <laughs> well, tell us what we have here. This is something that that people can do at home, huh? This is you don't have to have a big pig this in is the something ground. Something super <laughs> easy. No, what 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 I'm doing is the way I'm cooking mine is an Argentinian style. What I brought today, I cooked for about 10 or 12 hours last night at my own home on my rotisserie and in my oven. Uh, but what we're doing is uh, we're serving it with chimichurri and then we're so also serving it with vegetables. You can see the charred vegetables. Uh, they're called rescoldo vegetables uh -huh. and they're cooked in the embers of the fire. So as you start to progress in cooking the pig, we'll throw the vegetables in the coals and uh, by the time the pig's done, the vegetables are done and everybody eats and is happy. And everybody's happy. So the first <laughs> thing, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm making though is chimichurri and this is something super, super easy to make. It's a few ingredients. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had all these at my house, the oregano and parsley. Uh, I picked this morning at my house. So what, what it is, though, is real simple. It's about a cup of each of uh, oregano and parsley, sort of rough chopped like that, and then uh, just oregano sort of together like this. It's real packed in there. And so we're just going to sort of mix this up and then just add a few real simple ingredients, uh, water, salt, extra virgin olive oil, uh, a little red pepper. And having fresh ingredients makes such a big difference, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it makes such a big difference. I mean, they were talking earlier about the Eat Local Week. It's just right. so much better to walk out. As a matter of fact, the arugula that I'm serving this with, I picked this morning with my chef's night in the dark in my backyard. <laughs> so uh, really, like I said, this, this can be a rough chop, kind of like that. And uh, it's the, the simple thing to remember about this recipe, like I said, all this stuff is at home, is it's about, a, it's a cup of each herb and then a cup of water. One of the things, uh, one of the big things is you add salt water. Okay. And uh, this sort of, it, it's, it's one of the things they do, it sort of easily disperses the salt throughout the, the whole sauce. Mm -hmm. So we add that in there. And then a little uh, red wine vinegar, about a quarter cup, about a cup, half a cup of oil. And then it just as you like, uh, red chili flake, I like a little spicy. Mm -hmm. And then just some, again, just sort of a rough chop. Again, real rustic, uh, real simple flavors, real clean. You can serve this with a, just about anything you want, fish. We're, we're having it with pork, obviously, uh, lamb or anything like that. So just get like sort of a rough chop, maybe a little farther than that. If you need these ingredients at all, you can go to our website later today, kxan.com. The wine and swine event, the information is right there on your screen. It's tomorrow. It is out in Driftwood, 7200 FM 3237 at the Bridges Ranch. And it goes from 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon until 4 tomorrow afternoon. And, of course, John, you'll be there, right? I am going to be there. Excellent. I'm very excited.